Hi everyone, Carol here. Today I want to share a few projects with you. Um, but I did want to update you on the earthquake situation here. I'm in Quebec and uh, in the past week we've had six earthquakes um, varying in intensity from 3.5 to um, I'm not sure, uh, I think it was 5.2 uh, but anyways, the last one was this morning at 1.36. <laughs> I was just about to turn in and uh, heard that big bang noise again and then just felt the whole house rumbling and it lasted a few minutes and, you know, you just, you just kind of freeze. You don't know, you're like waiting for something. And then, of course, after all that, um, it took a while to settle down the dogs and you know, they had gotten a bit excited. So anyway, um, maybe in my next video, I have a couple of videos to do. Um, maybe in the next one, I'll show you uh, my puppy. And she's not so wee anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, just kind of wanted to share with you some of the uh, things that I've done. Uh, I don't know if you remember this jar that I, or this bowl that I've gotten for, I think, $3 at a thrift store. All I did was put a trim up here that I'd gotten from Jaysella and I put some of Lily's little baby doodads right here. Doodad flowers, just all around there. I might add to this, I'm not sure, but I kind of like it just plain like that and I just cover it up and it holds all of my, well not all of them, but some appliques, the smaller ones. Not the wedding gown appliques, but just the other regular appliques. Okay, so next, I have this candy dish. Um, it holds my uh, goodies that I purchased from Lily's uh, Etsy shop. Shabilicious on Etsy. Um, okay, so what I did with the lid here. You can see this pretty doily. It looked like this. And I cut out the center, and I just glued it on over the, uh, the lid here um, and I have some iridescent pearls going in and out and then um, on the little points I have some more of Lily's pretty little flowers god they're gorgeous I wish you'd get more of the uh, pink ones in I glued them on top of a small daisy um, trim that I had or appliques small daisy appliques um, I got those uh, from an eBay site. And then over here, I took one of uh, the rosettes that I had purchased from Rosella. Uh, sorry, not Rosella, but Jaysella. All these beautiful flowery names. <laughs> um, yeah, so from Jaysella's shop. And she is Lavish Laces on YouTube and Etsy both. So I cut out the center and I glued it on top here. And then I took this tiny little um, pink organza and white pearl trim uh, that I had in my stash and I just wanted to hide that uh, seam if you will and then on top I have a little lily flower applique with a flat back pearl and in the bottom the piece that I cut from the center of this uh, doily went on the bottom piece here and again, I just glued one of Lily's beautiful flowers on top. Um, this is a pink lace that I, that I purchased in a, a sample pack from Jaysella. And here's some more of that pink organza and pearl trim. And that just holds all of my Lily, Lily goodness. And then I did this one. This was just one of those, um, you know, like a, a shaker that you find at a restaurant, an Italian restaurant or whatever. And um, all I did was I cut these flowers out of a piece of fabric that was in one of the kits I purchased from Rosella. And um, I just glued them around the, the jar. I did some flat back pearls in the center. And then on top, all I did was glue another one of those rosettes. And then this... Uh, blingy button. Isn't it gorgeous? And then I just 
and I'll get a little bit of um, I think this is called scrapbooking floss and another teeny tiny baby little pearl here and then I tied um, a piece of seam binding and here's um, a little flower bling that I purchased at a local scrapbook store tied some beads on the end there and it holds a small little flat back pearls then I did this one this one holds my resin pieces like I have some birds and nests and some uh, flowers yeah so um, what I did was this again is one of those shaker tops I um, I have this uh, pretty uh, doily um, and it had, you know, had some staining on it, or what, but I salv salvaged what I could of it. I've just draped it along the jar here. Um, again, I tied a piece of seam binding on the lid itself. Oh, no, actually that's not on the lid, it's just at the top of the, uh, the lace. So what I did is I twisted two colors, a darker pink and a light pink, and I just made a big droopy bow. Um, and just to show you that I, you know, I keep the tiniest bits. <laughs> I couldn't th throw it away, but it looks kind of cute here with another uh, flat back pearl on there. And the lid itself, let's see if I can, yeah, so you see, that's what it holds. And um, it was another one of those shaking shaker uh, lids. What I did is I glued maybe three or four of these rosette trims as my my cushion, if you will, um, and then I put these uh, this rosette trim around it, and um, it's a stick pin holder. These are some stick pins that I made. Um, this was a um, I had sea salt in here. It doesn't hold anything yet, but you know, just a really tall jar with a screw cap. So what I did here, um, you see this white trim? This one here, I had purchased uh, on eBay. This one here, I purchased from the piece by piece, this beautiful pink one, and then um, this heart trim came from a kit that I purchased from Rosella and then I purchased this lace here on an Etsy shop. I'm not sure where I purchased that one but uh, but I'll insert it after I check. Um, so yeah I took that wider lace and I just folded it in half and uh, glued it on the you know the edge of the cap because it was quite wide and over here I have a little piece. It was a um, a table runner, doily table runner, and uh, so I cut one of the flowers here, and then here again I have a rosette trim, and I had cut the center. This is another one of those flowers that I, and the fabric flowers from Rosella, and this is a teeny tiny piece of um, wedding lace that is, you know, when I was cutting around a flower. It got cut in the process and there again I could not throw it <laughs> but then I noticed it was in the shape of a heart so I thought it was kind of cute um, and what I did to um, the top here is I put a um, small flat back pearl trim just to hide that the visible seam um, and then over here I printed an image glued on some wild orchid craft flowers. Over here I tied some white fibers, made a bow, and it's kind of peeking out at the top here. And there again I took a rosette trim. I cut it in half and I put half up there and half down here. And I kind of like that just tucked in between these two uh, wild craft flowers you can see a uh, a little bit of a rosette 
and that's from the trim. Um, and down here, another wallow craft flower, another the other half of that uh, flower trim, a uh, resin piece here, a little white petal, and a small cameo. And yeah, it's that one. So I had a lot of fun making these, and um, I still have a few that I want to uh, alter on my candy station. But um, I hope you enjoyed these. Thanks a lot for watching. I will post some pictures after this video if you want to uh, stick around to have a closer look at them. And um, have a great day, guys. Ciao.